Hey everyone, so I'm going to show how to download Google Play Store on an Amazon Fire device. For this video, I'm using the Fire Max 11, uh, but you can use any of at least the more recent Fire tablets. Uh, there'll be a list I'll show off a little bit later in the video. Uh, but to begin with, this may or may not work for every single device. For some reason, it does not work for every single Fire device. Uh, you can have a Fire Max 11 just like me, and it might not work for you. It's just how it is. Amazon does not want you having Google Play Store on their devices. They want you using their own app store. Um, and then two, if this does not work for you the first time around, you can delete all the files and retry it. Getting into this though, first thing you need to do, if you do not do this, it will not work for you. Go into your settings there. So again, settings, find security and privacy, find S from unknown sources, Silk browser and make sure that is turned on. If that's not turned on, you cannot do the rest of this. Then you, then you need to go into the Silk browser. Uh, if you're using a different type of browser, I do not know if this will work for you. Uh, then type in there how to download Google Play Store or Google Play on Amazon Fire. And then I always use How To Geek. I found this to be the most easy one to follow. Go ahead and hit the How To Geek for this. If you want to read all this, go ahead and read all this, but it's just going to tell you the same thing I'm going to tell you right now. Scroll on down until you find Google Account Manager. Now this is where it gets very important. Make sure you find your correct device on the list there. Uh, if it's not on this list, you can try any of the other ones if you want to, but then there's definitely no guarantee this will work. There's no guarantee in general. Uh, but if, it, if your device is not on this list, it'll most likely not work for you. Find your perspective, respective device. Mine's Fire Max 11, 13th gen. So we will file that one, which will be this version 7, 1.2. I like to click and hold. Open in new tab, which is how I do it. You can also just click it if you want to. Go into it, hit download APK. Get off the ad. It'll say download is starting. I already have this downloaded, so mine will say download file again. I do not want to. Yours will ask you if you actually want to download it. Uh, it will say something like, this might be harmful to your device. It's not gonna be harmful to your device, but it tells you that because it's off of the internet. Uh, hit download anyway and download it. Once that is done downloading, which you'll, if you scroll down here, you'll be able to see that it'll have uh, the download be up there. So I'll just do that, it'll show you the download progress. Once it is done downloading, Make sure it's done downloading first. Once and that one is done, go scroll down, go to Google Service Frameworks. Again, find your actual device on here. Hit your hit the correct one. And again, download APK. Once you hit that, it'll say it's downloaded is starting. Do you, are you sure you want to download? Hit yes, you want to download. Once that one is done, scroll on down again. Again, find your correct device. Mine's the very top one. Open that on up. This is going to be a little bit different though. As you can see, there is a list of different ones. Hit the most recent APK, which should be the very top one. You see mine actually has two of them for June 3rd of this year, uh, which wasn't too, too long ago, beginning of this month. Hit the most recent one for your device. And again, mine has another ad. Uh, download will start. Now you can see this one's almost 200 megabytes. The last ones were less. Uh, the last one I think was like four or five megabytes. Uh, so then once it downloads, uh, sorry, hit download APK. This one will take a little bit longer to download because it is quite a bit bigger. Uh, again, might be harmful. Download anyway. Hit download anyway. Let that one download again. That one will take quite a bit longer uh, than the other ones. Once that one is done, Last, and definitely not least, is the actual Google Play Store itself. Scroll on down until you find all models. So this one is, there is only one version of it. Uh, but then, this is also very important, do not hit any of these bundles. Hit the most recent APK download. Not bundle, the actual APK. Download that. Download APK, again, this one is 60 and a half megabytes, so it will take a little bit longer than the first two did. Make sure you download that. 
Once you are done with that, you can get out of Google Play Store, or excuse me, get out of Silk Browser, and then you have to go into Files, go up here to the three little lines, and Downloads, and then you will have four different, from, the, from Google, uh, four different APKs to download. You will hit, and again, this is very important, hit each one in the way that you downloaded them. Uh, it will tell you on here the time that you downloaded them. So make sure you hit it in order. And then it will say again, it is not known, continue, and make sure you hit uh, make sure you hit the continue and that you actually want to uh, install it. Again, so do each individual one in the order that they are. And in the end, you should have Google Play Store. And then you can download whatever you want off the Google Play Store. Go ahead have you sign into it. Uh, so make sure you sign into it. And then it should work for you. So again, this might not work for every single person. I don't know why that is, but for some reason it does not 100% always work. Or it might not work the first time. Delete all those APKs, go back in your files, delete each APK, and do it again. Uh, in the past, on one of my past devices a year or two ago, it took me I think three or four tries before it actually worked. So delete, try again if it does not work the first time. Hopefully this will work for you. Thank you all for watching. Hope you have a good one. I'll see y'all next time. Goodbye.